Hey Bounty here, welcome back again to my channel. I've tested a lot of uh, settings in Battlefield 2042 today because uh, the open beta started. And as you can see, I have right now on average FPS only 57 frames per second. That is uh, really bad, I have to change that immediately. And I'm gonna show you as well how to do it. First of all, you need to open your Radeon uh, software. For that you need to right click on your desktop and then press here AMD software. And let's go here inside. I've tested some different mm, setting combinations and I found out that this one is uh, the best and then you can get like up to, up to between 10 and 20 FPS. For me it was like, I don't know, maybe like 15 in between, but yeah. First of all, Radeon anti-lag, also like these are your um, like settings without you having uh, changed anything. But now, Radeon anti-lag, you have to enable it. After that, Radeon chill is disabled. Now, Radeon um, like game uh, sharpening is really important uh, to understand. What you can do in-game is you can lower your resolution. Let's say instead of 1080p you can play, I don't know, 1600, 900p and then you can do for example sharpening 100%. The game is gonna look nice and you're gonna save, um, like, you're gonna gain some FPS with that. But I, that is also like personal uh, preference, how high you want to do uh, the sharpening. But I would advise you to sharpen anyways that has not like... It is not like consuming your PC, FPS and everything, so you can turn that on. Wait for... Uh, you can you can skip that as well. Wait for vertical refresh always off and then you have to go to your advanced settings that is also really important most of the people they, they finish everything here and that is wrong let me check these settings are also in english normally i have it in german so no this one is okay ah uh, anti-sotropic filtering no, is also disabled I think let me check or oh, you have to do texture filtering quality performance and then that is really important this one you have to do override application and then maximum level you have to turn it off okay I think that's it for now you could also Enable this one if you want. No, but we, we're gonna not we, we're not gonna do that right now. Also, the display settings are also personal uh, pre preference. I like to keep um, like I like to change the colors in game. If you put this one high, you're gonna have much like better quality uh, colors. Like or the colors are gonna pop up. I would definitely customize this setting as well and you can play around with the brightness that has nothing to do with your fps in that case but yeah after these uh, settings we're gonna join like we're gonna go inside the game settings i actually forgot uh, something this one oberflächen uh, optimierung you should turn that on as well I uh, skipped on it because uh, it was in English and I didn't understand it really. We are in game now and uh, let's go right into the graphic and uh, display settings. Here I would advise, yeah, let's start from the beginning. I would advise you to play in full screen, that is always better. And then like I said, the resolution is, is like really an important uh, factor like i said you could do you could even play let's say 
this resolution or this one and then maximize your display sharpening and then you have a you will have a really nice gameplay experience this is um, custom options high dynamic range turn it off motion blur nobody needs that now in these gameplay uh, like in-game settings you're gonna understand a lot of settings are on low or turned off that is always better to boost uh, FPS graphic quality you need to do a uh, custom and then I've did texture quality that is the only setting that is on high you could also do medium that is also nice but then you're gonna like you're gonna lose your like visibility in game you could test out how far you can go with your radeon uh, sharpening settings but texture quality i high is, is is a good option texture filtering light quality effects quality post process mesh mesh is good if you like especially in battlefield if you are flying jets or like air vehicles helis then i would advise you to turn this also at least uh, to medium because you're gonna see enemies in like a distance but as you can see here higher settings may reduce performance you have to find your settings for yourself in that case terra quality low low ambient occlusion low i've did uh, this one post -pro processing i did taa low you could also do high but low is in that case better as well dynamic resolution scale off future frame rendering off vertical sync off this one i didn't really understand what that is but i turned it uh, to low as well as you can see a lot of settings are turned off or on low and yeah these are the best uh, settings for now when the game uh, like gonna be released i'm gonna maybe do a update video because then i have also a little bit more time to find even better uh, settings but yeah if you have any questions don't hesitate uh, to ask me i will try to answer them and yes thanks for watching today